Anyway, that's all the time we have for emails. Please keep sending your emails to drdamages at gmail.com. And follow us on Twitter at Dr. Damages. And here is Who my asked you? My name is Vake Ezodum and I'm introducing Dr. Njakiri Damage. Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damage. We're coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York City! Yes, yes, yes. New York City is so great that as shootings go up in the city, activists crank up the heat on our mayor. Yeah, Bill de Blasio. The man doesn't dance on the street anymore. No, not anymore. It's too dangerous. No matter where you live, shootings have gone up in New York City this year. Yes. Yeah. More people have been shot in New York City this year than those shot the same time last year. Wow. Yeah. And New Yorkers are not taking it well. They are not taking it well. This week, a group of activists took a coffin to the city hall to protest. <laughs> Watch. Part of a rally demanding Mayor de Blasio change his tactics on crime. Activists say the dramatics here are necessary to get the mayor's attention. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer reports they don't want to see the Big Apple turn into Gun City. If New York City doesn't take time, it may change its name from New York City to that killing field of a city up north. What is that called? That, that city up north? Chicago. 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 Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Chicago, yeah. Now, talking about changing names, Bruce Jenner changed his name to mm. Kathleen Jenner. Do you guys know that? Her name. Her name. He didn't just change his name. He also changed from a man to a woman. Mm. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. Nice. Whatever is going on in your life, we in the media capital of the world, we don't care. Huh. ISIS may be taking over your hometown. Even Boko Haram, they may be taking your sons and your lovers, mm -hmm. but we are obsessed with a man who said he now wants to be a woman. Huh. How do you know? That is how screwed up the world is. That is how screwed up. We put him, sorry, ha. <laughs> we put her on the cover of the most visible magazine in the world. Mm. And in the process, we broke the internet. <laughs> I know, I know. And people wonder, why is it that they don't like us? <laughs> For those of you who are left baffled, what troubles us in this part of the world is different from what troubles people like you in your part of the world. Yes. What other thing do we talk about? What did we talk about this week? Oh, oh yeah, the almighty US National Security Agency, NASA. They want to collect all your phone calls. Yes. Your phone calls and your phone records. They're already collecting those of everyone else in the world, including the Queen of England, Patience Jonathan, and Robert Mugabe. <laughs> now, now, now we, dis we discussed this week, we discussed whether we will let them keep collecting these records of our calls to our girlfriends and our wives. Yeah, I know, you, I know you have one of them. Yeah, yeah, one is in Brooklyn, one is in Campton. I know, I know. <laughs> But also, also, they want to collect our calls to our shrinks, you know? And we said, yes. Here is a man announcing that decision. Watch. You don't have to come and confess that you did. We're looking for you. We, we gonna find you. I'm letting you know now. So you can run and tell that, homeboy. Now, 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 come on, come on, come on. Uh, my man, put music to it. Play the real thing. You don't have to come and confess. We're really looking for you. We gon' find you. We gon' find you. So you can run and tell that. Run and tell that. Run and tell that. <laughs> <laughs> can, can you give us more? Can you give us more? We got your t shirt to the left fingerprints and all. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. I tell you, I tell you, we are so dumb here in America. We, uh, we have a lot of people, mainly white people, <laughs> running for president here in the United States. Except for one Rand Paul. They all support this NASA power to collect phone calls mm. from all Americans. Now, if they say they want to collect Mr. Kashamu's phone call with cocaine-infested uh, records, ah. I would say, okay, that's good. I understand. Woo. But to collect the phone call of Pope Francis, I say, mm. I disapprove. I disapprove. Oh, yeah. Now, I tell you how dumb these Americans are. A Republican presidential candidate named Rick Santorum. Mm. Please, whatever you do, don't Google his name. <laughs> very, very dangerous. Don't Google his name. Anyway, Santorum said, told the Pope that he should leave science to scientists. Mm. 
Yeah. yeah. He's pissed off that the Pope believes that human activities cause climate change mm. and that we must do something to stop it. Yes. Now, but the present one I be, you know, that man, Rick Santorum, said, No, Father. <laughs> Watch him. Santorum, a devout Catholic, told Philadelphia radio host D.O.M. Giordano on Monday that the Pope should leave science to the scientists. Now, guess what? Rick Santorum is so dumb, he does not even know that Pope Francis has a master's degree in chemistry. Mm. Yeah, so he's a scientist too. Yes, now, sir. I know what you guys are saying. Forget about these American knuckleheads. Tell us about Nigeria and the new president of Nigeria. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. yes. It, is, it, yeah, it is official. Yeah. It's official. President Mohamedou Buhari has taken over. Yeah. And guess what? Guess what? The change is here. Yeah. Everywhere is brighter. Yeah? Mm. Everywhere is brighter. Are you sure? Suddenly, power supply has improved. Yeah. The EFCC has remembered how to arrest people. Mm. Yeah. It's their chance. <laughs> Things are looking up. In yes, fact, yes, yes. Nigeria is now on a different time zone. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Let, let's start from the very beginning. Mm. Mm. Nigeria put up a colorful show last week to hand over power from mm. Jonathan to Buhari. Yeah. 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 The, yeah, the only missing thing was that the, the color, the, the, we missed that former first lady. What's her name again? Uh, person Jonathan, yeah. She, she would have added color to the event. Yeah, but she, she wasn't there. She wasn't there. But she wasn't, the people were asking, where, where, where was Special Jonathan? I, I sent my crack reporters to, to find out what happened to Mama Peace. They went to Otoke, they couldn't find her. They went to Okrika, they couldn't find her. But they found this woman in Okrika. This woman gave an explanation what happened to Special Jonathan. Watch. Yeah, I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. The woman said the woman said that she got no time for that. Hey, <laughs> that she, that patient has no time for that Buhari thing that happened at the Eagle Square. Anyway, anyway, the event went very well. Mm. President Buhari made a speech that Nigerians will remember for a very long time. Yeah. 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 The speech now belongs to nobody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and it belongs to everybody. I belong to everybody and I belong to nobody. And, and guess what? Everybody is quoting and misquoting that. Yes. Yeah. Watch. And it is happy that uh, one of the statements the president made was that it does not belong to any clique. <laughs> you know, clique, that is that that word is what I've been looking for. Click. Mm. Mm -hmm. At the gala night, they have followed the inauguration. President Buhari said this. Watch. If things go wrong in Nigeria, things will go wrong in most of Africa. <laughs> Now, now he said, wow, if, 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 if things go wrong in Nigeria, things will go wrong in most of Africa. Yes, yes. yes. that's true. I've, I've had that's something true. like that before, don't you? Where, where did I hear something like that? We've had that. And I always say that for you to fix the world, you must fix Africa. For you to fix Africa, you have to fix Nigeria. And if you don't fix Nigeria, then you will mess it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we've had that before. <laughs> Buhari continued. He said the following. Watch. Nigerians pray a lot. We need to pray even more for luck. <laughs> he said Nigerians pray a lot. We need to pray more for mm. luck. Yes. Wait a minute. Wait. Pray for what? Luck? Good luck? Yes. I, I, I hope not. I, I, hope, I hope not. I hope not. Now, <laughs> for so long, people have asked me to show them my crack reporters in flesh and blood. Yes. Not those stupid pictures I put up. Yes. Yeah? Well, well, that ended at the Buhari's inauguration. Yes. My crack reporters finally emerged. Yes. Yes. Watch them, watch them in action. Sir, when will there be change in Zimbabwe, sir? Will there be a change? Will, will there ever be a change in Zimbabwe, sir? Will there be a change somewhere? Sir, will there be a change in Zimbabwe just like we're having in Nigeria? Will you step down, sir? 
come there, sir? Democracy in Nigeria. They're going to be democracy. Is that democracy in Zimbabwe, sir? Sir, is it is there democracy in Zimbabwe? <laughs> now, now, did you notice that Mugabe wanted to respond? But people around him exactly. could not let him answer. Yes, yes. Now, that, that is the cage that yes, our former Simba. president, um, what's his name, that former president, he talked about the cage when you are in the in the white. What is okay, the cage? Jonathan. <laughs> Jonathan, yeah. That, that is the cage he was talking about. A cage where you can't respond when you... <laughs> now, now, my crack reporters, we are not done. Watch more of your action. Is Jacob Zuma here? They need election in Zimbabwe. Too. Where is that Zuma? <laughs> What did you hear one of them say? What did, what did she say? Where is Jacob Zuma? <laughs> now, 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 thank God, thank God that we did not find him. Because if my crack reporters, if they had found the man, mm. there would have been a wrestling match. Yes. Yes. Like no other one, like this one. Excitement! <laughs> So you know, just so you know, my crack reporters were not the first group to ask Mugabe to leave town yes. and stop blaming everybody else. Yes. Yes. My crack reporters were not the first to ask the old man of Zimbabwe to account for the sufferings and deaths that have become the legacy of his 30 years in power. Mm. Wow. Now, wow. some people in Zambia, where is that man from Zambia? <laughs> some people in Zambia did a similar thing to Mugabe when he visited their country. Watch. That's how you do it, baby. That's how yes. you do it. Yes. Now, meanwhile, former president, good luck, Jonathan, received a wonderful welcome back home. Woo! Yeah, he, he went back to Bielsa. They welcomed him back. You see people dancing. Oh, wow. eh? The people of Bayelsa came out on Mars to welcome the immediate past president, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan. Which goes to prove to you that he belongs to Bayelsa, not to everybody. Yeah! <laughs> he should have remained there in 2007 instead of going to Abuja. Life would have been better for Nigerians. Now, now, in a speech to his people, Jonathan said, and I quote, I was worried I would be booed. <laughs> I said, don't worry, sir. Don't worry. Eh? We have moved on. By tomorrow, we won't even remember the names of your children. <laughs> did, did we actually know the names of his children? No, I don't think we know. She's married. Anyway, anyway, Jonathan also said, I wasn't interested in politics. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for giving us heads up, you know, for letting us know in advance. You know, you are, you are 16 year destruction is over. Now you can go back to doing those things you are interested in, you know, like. Uh, uh, <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as we close Jonathan's chapter for good, it will be good to remember this. Hmm. If not anything else, good luck Jonathan taught us that though anyone could be president, it is not a good idea that everyone should be president. Yes. There are some people who should just forget about it. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, Buhari's first week in office has not been going well. Yes. Hmm? A civil war broke out on social media wow. as the new president delayed appointing a spokesman Yes. Everyone became his spokesman, yes. and nobody spoke for him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. When news broke that Buhari left guests at dinner to attend a, a prayer service, yes. his freelance spokespeople said it proved that he belongs to no Good guest, yes. but to every guest. Yes. I know, I know. When the issue of making his asset declaration form public came yes. up, his spokesman all freelance. They said, wait now, wait now. Oh. Do you know, do you know how long it will take the CCB to count all the cows he has yeah. in his farm? <laughs> have you seen Buhari's cow? No. no, no, no. You have to see his cows. They are not as well taken care of as the cows oh. of Museveni. Yeah. Okay, okay. Show them Museveni's cows. <laughs> now, now look at Buhari's cows. Oh. They are hungry. They are hungry. Eh? Buhari's cows are, so they, they don't want a lot. Why are we wasting time waiting for them to count the cows? Just, just give them 10, ni 10 naira, you know. Anyway, anyway, talking about East African cows. 
A few weeks ago, a Kenyan lawyer offered 100 cows, 29 goats, and to, to, tobacco, and local Ogogoro to President Barack Obama as dowry for Obama's daughter. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, the man has, the man has withdrawn the offer to Obama. And I will explain why when we come back. He withdrew the offer. He said, after seeing the picture, he said, forget it, I'm withdrawing the offer. <laughs> Based on the premise that a picture is worth more than a thousand words, mm. you are looking at the picture of Buhari's wife, mm. Aisha Buhari, with her daughters. Hey. I know, I know, Best I know, I know, I know. I know. You are not alone. This picture you're looking at is now my computer new screen server. Hey. When I click on my computer, I look at them. It is people like you, you. People, people like you, yeah, that made us so rock to issue this disclaimer. They said, they said, men, men, they said, this is for men. They said, these people you're looking at do not belong to anybody. And they do not belong to nobody. <laughs> it's a warning to all of you. Now, in a related story, Aisha Buhari closed her beauty parlor in Kaduna to take up the responsibility of being the first lady. Yes. Yeah. Didn't someone say that we wouldn't have that title of first lady? Whatever happened to that promise? Whatever. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Hey, look, hey, looking at, no looking at, looking at these pictures, I was worried about the decision to close that beauty parlor. Mm. Then, then I was reassured that it wouldn't have any effect on the beauty of these, these ladies. Yeah. Because, because, so, so you can calm down. Because if anything will happen to their beauty, I will really, you know, I'll be pissed off. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, I, oh, yeah, actually, you, you know, we have the numbers. <laughs> Here are some stories making headline news across Nigerian newspapers this week. <laughs> Impeachment. Fire Shea, PDP. Beg Buhari to intervene. <laughs> yeah, beg? Beg? My friend, my friend. Fi Fire Shea. Why, why not take a front page advert instead? Why are you begging? <laughs> Do, do, do I have to remind you how you used to do it? You know? <laughs> Nonsense. <laughs> Shakao missing in new Boko Haram video. Is it that? No, 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 no. No, actually, he was trekking to Tuoke. He, he, he's, no, people confuse that. He was just going to the consultation. Shakao version 6. He was going to Tuoke, you know, consultation. You, he will come back with version 3.0. I will use African Development Bank presidency to eradicate poverty, says Adeshina. Do you know the guy? Yeah. The new president, the man, the, uh, my, my, my brother, take it easy. Take it easy. Just reduce poverty. Don't eradicate it. <laughs> huh? without, without poor people, how do we, rich people, know that we are rich? Yes. How? We need poor people so that when they... The same level. Uh -huh. Nonsense. You eradicate poverty. No. <laughs> Fire Shea writes Buhari demands right to nominate minister. <laughs> is it? Is it? Is it? The man is a comedy gold mine. People tell me that my show is dead. It can't be dead. I can't go out of business. As long as Fire Shea is there, we are in business. <laughs> we are in business. Pakistani politician blames women in jeans for earthquake. No, 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 no. No. Before, before, before you laugh. Don't, don't, don't laugh unless you believe something equally outrageous. I know some of you believe something equal outrageous. Nonsense. <laughs> I used to beg for money to eat. Says turn to Dike. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. I know. I, 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 I could feel her. I, I could feel her. Now, now, now you beg for attention by taking off your clothes. She used to beg for money to eat. Now, for attention, she just take off her clothes. <laughs> Buhari should remove fuel subsidy, says Patu Tommy. You see, you see, you know, that man went to school, but my grandfather said, before you bring down a fence, you have to account for why the fence was up in the yes. first instance. Yes, yes, yes. They don't teach this in at Harvard. Where, what school did you go to? <laughs> 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 I 
I know this is over your head. <laughs> no man can handle me apart from my husband. Ah, says Omotala. Now, 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 now. How can you be talking like this, Omo sexy? Ah. Have you met Mazi Anunte? Have you have you met Mazi Anunte? Eh? That guy never to your daughter. <laughs> the daughter you're thinking about. I mean, the woman says no man. How can she say that? Eh? Mazi Anunte. Anyway, I will, I will link you up. Ala Messia made me, says former president, good luck, Jonathan. Uh, <laughs> now, now, now we have to thank you, Ala Messia, for, you. for your generous return policy yes. on defective products. Yes. Now, can we, can we get our money back since you made him? Can, can we, we are returning him. Can we, I thought we returned him. Can we get our money back? Uh, uh, you made him. Really? No wonder the father. My life threatened for doing the best for my country, says the Ziani Alice in Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She did the best for her pocket. <laughs> no, that's what her pocket is saying. Yeah. Her pocket is saying, you did the best for us. I just said ex governor Oji refuses to vacate government house huh. for new governor. Like the house. No, no, he was saying, he said, he said. He said, I belong to the government house, and the government house belongs to me. That's what he said. That's and that's, that's the final answer. The new government. <laughs> They're killing us. They're killing us. It's time for your email. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for your email. Do we have emails today? Every day, doctor. Okay, please, let's hear them. Okay, our first email is from Mansour in Kaduna, Nigeria. He mm. writes, Kaduna. Kaduna, yeah. You know I was, I used to live in Kaduna. Mm. Mohammed Owe. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. I'll pray for you. You don't, you, you, you need to stop. I've been not, everywhere. I've doctor, been everywhere. I live my life. It's not to lie. Uh -uh. Ah, anyway. She, she's challenging me on my <laughs> Who writes the check for her? Um... <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right. Dear Dr. Damages, this is my first email, but I have been your regular viewer. Introduced by my friend Ahmed Idris. Oh, that's our friend. Yeah. I used to drink uh, Kunu with him a long, long time ago. What else do you drink? Eh? You drink Ogogoro. Kunu, Ogogoro, and uh, what else? Schnapp. You know the one they call okay. Schnapp? No. Huh? You need to test it. Mm, I'll pass. I think I'll pass. <laughs> go he ahead. He said, I love your show very much, more than ever. Uh -huh. Thank you for being an agent in the part of change that just happened in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I want you to diagnose fire your statement on Buhari and the state um, Buhari certificate with military since he is now in power. Oh, thank you so much, my man. Thank you for writing. But please, please, leave fire share for me. Mm. I, I need the man. He is the last of the three musketeers left. <laughs> Patient Jonathan is gone. Eh? <laughs> She's now sitting in a village counting her money. What? Femi Fani Kayode. He's smoking his, uh, himself to death. What? Okube, Okube is looking for his toes. He can't find them. What? Because I only have, my only comic material is from Fire Shed. Leave him I'll alone. Pray eh? for please, you. please. Yeah, don't don't, don't make him to stop talking. Mm. Eh? Mm. I, I will work hard. Fire Shed is always right. Mm. Next. Mm. Our second email is from Deeps from New Zealand. He writes. Ah, they're watching us there. Of course, why not? All the way why to the not? end of the earth. In ah, Brazil too. That's why I'm saying we should work hard. <laughs> These people are watching. Go ahead. Okay, dear Dr. Damages, I love your program. It's the best Sahara TV show oh. I have known. <laughs> hey! But I want to ask you. That's is, this your, <laughs> is, is this your sun, your sunshade glue to your face? No wonder you are the only doctor damaging people's hard-earned reputation. <laughs> you have succeeded on GEJ, but if you try it on Buhari, hey, he will send you to jail. <laughs> Please help me damage TG's wicked laughter a little. <laughs> and don't forget to include more about our other African leaders. Yes, yes, my man. My Thank, you. Thank you so much. They watch Useless. us in New Zealand. Mm. Wow. You know, now listen, listen. We don't damage people's reputation. Mm -hmm. We enhance it. We enhance it. The only issue is that if you have a knucklehead kind of reputation, hey. we enhance that knucklehead. Hey. Yeah. When we when we put you on the spotlight, people will see. Ah. Shy. That's all we do. You know, we love our people. <laughs> Next. Our third email is from Bola Kale Aleide mm. from Newcastle, United Kingdom. He writes. Dear Dr. Damages, I watched with disappointment and was in a state of dismal abysmal. And 
<laughs> the unprofessional interview the duo Adiola and Omoyele gave old Papa Mugabe during the inauguration for President Buhari at Eagle Square, Abuja. I began to wonder if political activism is the same as journalism. In the same light, Dr. Kabira in Edinburgh writes, My dear doctor, I'm a great fan of you. But to be realistic, what Sahara Reporter School did to President Mugabe is not journalism. It's rather hooliganism. As a world-class crew, that's totally incorrect. I know if it's doctor at that stage, he will not act in such an unprofessional manner. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like how you bring it back, you brought it back to me. <laughs> now, now, I'm a doctor, an esteemed doctor. Hmm. When I meet historical individuals like, ah. like Mugabe, ah. I treat them like living history. Ah. The history of the world, my grandfather said, hmm. is nothing but the biography of knuckleheads hmm. like Mugabe. <laughs> Next. Okay, our fourth email is from Fatima Adamu, my name's Sek. She writes, hello, my best doctor. Thank you for this program you are doing every week. Please do us a favor to watch every step of our governor-elect, Amino Bello, Masai of Katina State. Mm -hmm. Like he's trying to copy the good luck Jonathan <laughs> leadership style. <laughs> doctor, you won't understand. Just watch this man. Wow. <laughs> We uh, are watching you. Oh. Governor Aminu I, I mean, Bello, we are watching you. We, we are putting you on notice. Mm. My, my, in fact, my crack reporters, they are coming for you. We gotta send them. Watch there. out. We are sending them mm -hmm. there. Next. <laughs> Our fifth email is from Ron Cassidy in Kuala Lumpur, oh, in Malaysia. Malaysia. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Dear mental doctor. Ah. <laughs> ah. What are you saying? Dear. <laughs> Let, let him talk. Let me, Dear let me. mental doctor, I'm so glad that the wind of change has blown in our country. Mm. I'm surprised that at this last hour of GJ administration, that the nation is having a hard time with fuel scarcity, while the Ministry of Environment is buying stove for rural area women. Please, doctor, advise Oga Buhari not to continue this stove project mm. because no food stuff to cook. Mm. Tell him that the <laughs> that the first hundred days in the office has already begun. Also, I did not see the swearing in of the first lady. Why? Is that a mistake? Or is the president, will he swear her himself? No, no. Well, you guys are really trying. I dream where you conquer Africa. Uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Cassidy. Uh, but, but why do you call me mental doctor? Mental. Uh, anyway, anyway. Now, about that eight billion uh, stove project. Hmm. Let me tell you, they've spent the money. Hmm. Why are you worried about the food? Eh? God will provide the food. Ah, Just oh get your stove. Ma, it will fall from heaven. <laughs> that, that's African policy. Yeah. It will fall from heaven. Mm. Believe. Have, have faith. Have faith. Small faith. Mm -hmm. eh? You need to see a TV, Joshua. I think that's just a problem. You need to see TV. Faith. Small faith. Next. Ah. <laughs> Okay, our sixth email is from Mohammed Nagogo in India. That's he our writes, friend. Your That's friend. Our friend of the show, yeah. Your friend. Yeah. He's not my friend anymore. Uh, why? Listen. Mm -hmm. It looks like Tomato Joss don't want to read my emails anymore. Oh. But that will not stop me from writing because participating in this show makes me like it more. Oh. Unlike keeping it real, where Adiola is doing her own thing as she pleases. Mm. I am happy for Nigeria. The president's speech was good, but action speaks louder than words. Oh, thank you, Mohammed. You thank said you so it, much. Brother. You are right. Action is what we need. Mm -hmm. And 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 I get them before no be property. Hmm. Because people tell me Buhari used to do this, used to, I mm. get them before no be property. Hmm. Yes. yes. Yeah. Hmm. And and to tell us that now Jonathan's fault, it won't work after hundred yes, days. So we're not take after that. hundred days, it's over. Yes. Action. And the countdown begins. Once it's 100 days in office. So we're watching you. Mm -hmm. yes. Next. Our final email is from Sheon OJ in Semi at the Nigeria Benin border. Mm. He writes, I used What to are you doing there? I used to smuggle things. <laughs> what are you doing? You two? Ah, well, me, with my friend here. I'll <laughs> pray for you. I'll pray for you. Before both. we go to high school, we were. Yes. Hmm. Go ahead. God, they watch. I'm a doctor now, so <laughs> those things are forgiven. Go ahead. <laughs> I hope so. Hello, Dr. Damages. 
I am a very dedicated fan of your program. Mm. Thanks for chasing GEJ out of Aso Rock <laughs> and replacing you. him with Buhari. I bet you that very soon your show will go into extinction because Buhari's mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because Buhari's voice is not perceptible on national TV. So where will you get materials and jokes about for mimicking him? I supported GEJ during the last presidential election. For your sake, but see what you have caused yourself. Mm. Kindly divert your focus on the sit tight African leaders and also dress like them because your show might not get to, you know, 200 episodes. Let's if listen. you stick to Buhari alone, <laughs> yeah, <but listen. laughs> all of you who are praying for me to go into extinction, hmm. nothing, it won't happen. Mm. You know why? Right, because right. I've got fire share. Ah. I've got fire share. Ah. We're in business. Anyway, that's all the time we have for emails. Please keep sending your emails to drdamages at gmail.com and follow us on Twitter at Dr. Damages. And here is Who my asked you? <laughs> and here is my concern for today. It's taken from page 419 of the book Abandoned Properties by Zig Ziglar. And she wrote, Don't give up what you want most for what you want now. Hmm. Deep, I go far to wow. give you yes, yes. yes. Until next wow. week, I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose. You heal yourself! Woo! So, so, uh, Tomato Joss, uh -huh. my crack reporters went to Abuja. I hmm. sent Showere and Adiola. So and you they did a wonderful that. job. Mm. What happened to you? What happened to the money I gave you? I gave you my credit card. Mm. Enjoy yourself, <laughs> gave me a report. What happened? Explain that. Can someone take note of what she's saying? The credit card got declined. <laughs> <laughs> they said I couldn't purchase my ticket. Cut, cut off, off. I off, had to cut. call. I had to call Abati. Cut, cut off, off. But Abati was no longer in Asso. I said, walk. put this thing off. Abati was no longer in Asso. Walk, so how could I go? Who is this director? To Nigeria put, and I go to no, Asso. No, walk. Wait, wait. wait, wait ah. Come, come down. Put this. Let me talk I have to be at Asso. Walk. We talk after ah. this. Cut this thing off now. Hey. Eh? Ah. Coming from United Thank States, you. just so, just so. Eh. See you next week. Hey, I saw work on nothing at all. <laughs> Embarrassing me, me in public. Me. Hey. In public. Voila. Welcome to Fossville Luxury Hotel. At Fossville Luxury Hotel, we offer excellent service. Our rooms have all the necessary facilities to make your stay comfortable and memorable. You will also have access to internet service, breakfast, 24-hour power supply, full air condition, free international calls, free time pumping service, and free car battery charge. So what are you waiting for? Quickly visit Fossville Luxury Hotel. We are located as number one at the Nirobar Michele off Raja Rasaki Road, Fox Estate, Amuwo, or the Fifestat League. For more information or reservation, please call us on 080 75 or 080 99 90 You can also take advantage of our online ongoing promo at www.fossvhotel.com to make your reservation and payment for your favorite room, which attracts a discount rate. Please note, rooms are reserved based on first come, first serve. Fossvhotel experience the home of comfort. They come, they come.